Hello my little chocolate Easter bunnies and welcome to my first official let's play of this new channel Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Now for those of you who don't know this is like a sort of cultish game that came out but it was kind of a failure commercially but it, it has a huge sort of like underground secret following which is totally you know suitable since it's a game about vampires that are all underground and stuff in California for the most part. I don't think they're anywhere else but California in this game. Anyway, it's like a uh, vampire RPG shooter slash melee combat, but there's a talent system and attributes. It's like a traditional, you know, RPG. Vampire Masquerade is actually a tabletop RPG, you know, that I've never played because I'm not that cool. But some people really like it, and I would love to maybe someday. Play it, but we'll save that for another time. Start our lovely new game. Now there's several different clans that you can um, choose to have your character be from. There's like the slutty people, there's the high class people, there's the mages, um, more melee shapeshifters. Uh, but I'm going to just pick who we're gonna play for the sake of being awesome. We could. See, if you guys were familiar with the game, I would totally do Malkavian because they're the crazy vampires and all their dialogue options are like insane and make no sense. Your name is not Boop. Your name is going to be Asa for the sake of myself. Um, Gangrels are the shapeshifters. I can't decide if I'm going to do Gangrel or uh, Tremere. These are the mages. They're like the blood mages. Ventru are the high ups. I built a venture my first time playing and I was horrible because I just maxed seduction and I couldn't like do any combat at all and it was terrible. So I kind of failed there. So I haven't actually beaten this game in its entirety. I would say I've beaten maybe three quarters of it. So there will be some blind parts, but there will be some parts that I obviously know um, how to do. These, I don't know, Bruja, these are like the uh, the idealist weenie college students. <laughs> um, Nosferatu are scary as hell. Look how, look how scary the females are. Don't you just want to like kill yourself after looking at that? I, I, I can't even handle that right now. Um, uh, uh, Tremere. Tremere or... One sec. No. Alright, I think I'm going to do um, Gangrel, which are the shapeshifters. Because they're awesome in melee. I'm just gonna pick some goofy history for her. How about Pagan Priestess? I'll take it. She looks very evil. Okay, so we got our attribute sheet. I'm just gonna speed through this, figure out what I'm doing. Uh, da, 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 da. Put these within. How many points do we have? Uh, I have quite a few points to fuck around with. Um, definitely put one in there. Charisma, Manipulation, Appearance. Um, we're gonna seduce people, cause that's fun. Oh no, I don't have any- Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay. That's fine. I notice intelligence is really necessary. Bra. Intimidation! Hello, we are definitely freaking scary as hell, so we're gonna get intimidation. Melee. Mmm, security is important. Investigation. I'll take that. Okay. And here we go. We're starting into the actual game. We got all our attributes, all our inter attributes set up. Let's go. Here we go. The embrace. Dun dun dun. See, we are enjoying sexy time. The wine. Ooh. Is that like a lifesavers wrapper? Oh, guess not. <gasps> there we are. Oh dear. That Italian stallion. So inappropriate. And drugs. Where are we? Oh nice, I have a bitch shirt. That's cool. And I'm fully clothed, of course. Hey man. Oh shit. Oh! 
Okay. Just got stabbed. Sexy time is over. My fellow kindred, my apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening. It's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. We are here because the laws that bind our society, the laws that are the fabric of our existence, have been broken. As Prince, most of the characters you see in the seats here are actually main characters that we'll meet throughout the game. Yay! Many of you have come to me seeking that guy's a creepy. And I he is a creepy. Some of these requests. However, the accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. It pains me to announce the sentence, as up to tonight I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. Know that I am no more adjudicator than I am a servant to the Ugh. us all. Ugh. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere to the code that binds our society, lest we endanger all of our blood. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. Boop. That's ah, so literally on the boop. Which leads to the fate of the ill-begotten progeny. Without a sire, most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly, the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that this is bullshit! <gasps> If Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish, I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I thank you all for attending these proceedings, and I hope their significance is not lost. Good evening. So we're safe for now. Almost got our head cut off. Tragic. My apologies. But you see, there is a strict code of conduct. Uh, that shirts. Must, oh. Must adhere to if we wish to survive. When someone, anyone breaks these laws, they undermine the well-worn fabric of our centuries-old society. Understand my predicament. Allowing you to live makes me directly <laughs> It looks so weird. I forgot when this came out, but so, models are like, what? Generosity, but the opportunity to transcend the fate woven by your sire. <laughs> <laughs> looks like someone had a little too much action. You will be brought to Santa Monica. There, you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. I've shown you great clemency. Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, fledgling. Don't come back until you do. Good evening. That good evening. So very dismissive. Okay, so we are beginning in the introduction level. We are going to do the training bit because I haven't played this in a sort of a while. So here we are. Oh, hello. <gasps> it's Jack! Who are you? I'm Jack. What's important is I'm offering help. You make it back from Santa Monica with your high and low train life story, okay? Till then, I got about this much time. You wear out. Um, but da da ba da We're gonna get help. Just give me the basics. Um, yeah. Now, your funeral, kiddo. We keep a couple things in mind before you go. Now, 
These lessons aren't just for your benefit, so listen up. Okay. First, the masquerade. I'm gonna hear a lot about this, so let me sum up real quick. Sure, you're a vampire. Great. Keep it to yourself, okay? It's easier that way, trust me. That's the masquerade. Keeping vampire secrets secret. Easy, right? Easy peasy. Now, if you violate the masquerade, if you run around spooking you, you make things harder on all of us. Then all of us get pissed off and we come at you. And you end up like your sire there, stick to bait. Comprende, kiddo? I'm listening. Right on. Next, humanity. Being a vampire isn't the end of the road. You think life was hard? Just wait. Now you're half beast, half man, and it ain't quite an easy fit. You're gonna be fighting that beast for the rest of your days, every time you get into it. Whenever you kill an innocent, you feed the beast a little more. And it grows a little stronger. After a while, the beast can take over and you'll go wild and have to be put down like a rabid dog. So, you know, fight it. Don't be a homicidal maniac. That'll help with the masquerade, too. See how it all comes together? Ain't that nice? Oh, yeah. Now, with all that said, you still have to keep your ass alive. For that, you're gonna have to feed. That little blood sound, kill. Imagine you're feeling that thirst right about now. Get it where you can, however you can. Just remember the first two lessons. Don't let anyone else see you feeding. They'll flip out and cause you to break the masquerade and cause some bigger, fatter vampire to come stomp a mud hole in your ass. Also, drink deep, but don't drain them dry. See, that's giving in to the beast. You do that, you lose a grip on your humanity and you lose control. There we go, again. it all fits together. You. Can you dig it? I think so. Now, ship off like a good little soldier. If you pull this off, come downtown to the last round, and I'll tell you how jacked this whole situation is. Until then, <laughs> good luck. Or maybe I should just say, uh, nice knowing you, kiddo. <laughs> Such a scumbag. All right. It looks like we skipped a little bit, just intro to, like, stealth and how to feed and stuff, but that's okay. So here we are in our apartment, and the fun begins. Yes, this entire game looks this grimy. Let's see what we got in here? <gasps> A blood pack. Sweet. Is there more? Oh, three of them. Awesome. Um, let me think. Ooh, old pizza. We don't need that anymore. No, you flat textured pizza. Hello, LA. You're up way past your bedtime. Lacuna coil. Hope you've slipped into something. Cool. All right. So our first quest, first extra quest. I gotta shut up that radio. Thank you. Okay. Anyway, back to reading this. At your convenience, please come and visit me in my home downtown. I leave you this guide. I leave you this to guide you. Dark blood, our curse of blah 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 blah. blah. Tremere region. Okay, so that is actually the guy with the red glasses that we saw on top of the balcony in the auditorium. He was kind of an awesome badass. Password for your computer is Sunrise. Keep the cash in the drawer, it's yours. I dropped you an email with my address. Okay, so we're gonna go make some babies with this guy. Let me just take this money. That money, all right. Password is Sunrise. Oh wait, email. Sunrise. Don't need to hack my own computer. Let's check our emails. Mercurio will look okay. We know he's going to come to Santa Monica. Penis. <laughs> okay, we definitely need to get that. Excellent. This looks like some more spam. Hey, welcome to town. Come on over. It's my place. When she gets situated, we'll talk about what you'll need to get the job done. I'm going to pick up explosives right now. Some astrolite. I should be back at the time you come over. And he gives us his address. Game begins. A pawn is moved. That sounds cryptic. And that's it. So we know we're probably going to do some exploding. Okay, how do I get out of this menu? There we go. Probably going to do some exploding as part of our mission. Got some pills. Some, uh, a watch. What? That makes sense. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's do just a little bit more playing. I'll start splitting this let's play up to easily digestible video chunks. I'm thinking probably about 15 minutes a piece. 
That way you're not stuck at your computer for an hour watching me ramble about nothing. What's with these pizzas? I've gotten a lot of pizza fish. Ooh. Carnival of Death. Gruesome remains found on the pier. Police baffled. Well, that's going to follow us the entire game. Good times. All right. Oh, we're going outside. I thought that was another apartment. Hey, hey, lady. <laughs> you got some change, lady? No. But I'm going to gobble you. Hello! Bite. Bite. There we go. Nom, 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 nom. So, so I left. It's just our normal health meter. Oops, I accidentally killed him. My bad. Oopsie poopsie. I got some evil now. Oh, what? The police can't know about that. That's a joke. No, they don't. The police are very obnoxious in this game. And creepy, too. And a little OP. <gasps> we gotta go see what that guy's up to. He's looking a little bloody and no one really seems to care about him. Let's see what's going on. I'll swear first. You are uninteresting. Okay. I'll go back to third person. Hey! Oh! How's it going, girl? Do I know oh, you? Man, wait! Say that again! <laughs> okay, do oh, I know man, you? you! You're a vampire, aren't you? <gasps> um, he can't know that. Hey chick, just because I'm a ghoul and you're some cool vampire. That's the police officer's just like vampire. walking around behind us. Just shut up and tell me okay, what a ghoul is. Don't be such a bitch. Well, it's on my shirt. Never a vampire lets a human drink some of their vampire blood. A human gains a little vampire power. It can heal up quick and that kind of stuff. Jeez, oh man. <laughs> Ooh, watch out. Ooh, watch out. Don't you mean wannabe vampire lowlights? I, uh, I, uh, screw you. I don't need this. I just thought it'd be cool to talk to you, but I guess not. You guess right, baby. Let's see, will he talk to me? Girl? Oh, he seems to be completely okay with that. Okay. <laughs> All the, uh, the fences have been mended. The bridge is still across oh. that river. <clears throat> Mm. Nothing, no, nothing. Just uh, waiting for a friend to uh, get off work. He's um, a police officer, old army buddy. He, uh, he should be bringing his dog as well. It's a, a Rottweiler. Wonderful attack dogs they are. Let's intimidate him. So based on your, you know, appearance, I think charisma, intimidation. There's a, a multitude of different statistics that you or stats that you can up to give you different dialogue options. Like, when I played, um, I just played a, for a few minutes yesterday to see if the game worked, and I was playing as... I can't remember. I didn't even have... he His dialogue's completely different from the last time I talked to him, just based on my stats alone, so it's pretty cool. Let's have him give uh, us some cash. Sure. I guess I could spare a few dollars. Uh, here you are. Uh, good luck getting back on your feet. You know, that sure is a nice watch you've got there. A shame if something were to happen to it. My watch? It's a quantum limited edition. Only 50 made in the world. Quite irreplaceable. It was an anniversary present for my wife. Then I'm sure she won't be upset that you traded it for your yes. life. Yes, well, um, here. Easy enough. Oh, I can get more stuff? It's people like you that have ruined Ooh, now he's getting a little mad. Here's my money, Daniel. Go buy your narcotics, you lowlife. Now leave me alone. You've got what you want. <laughs> I could, but it just lacks oomph without a beating. <laughs> oh, he wants to fight! Okay, <laughs> Okay, we could use vampire powers on him because we're in an alley. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Oh, I hope I don't get the cops involved. Um, um, okay, there's definitely a copper. What's he gonna do? He's just running away. I think we're okay. I hope, I hope, I hope. Please leave me alone, I'm okay. I didn't do anything wrong. Awesome. Could have killed him. Let's see if he's back here. He's probably still around here, maybe. I don't know. Hmm. I was gonna go check. Nope, he's gone. He might be gone from the game. We'll see. 
be back here quite a bit. There's a nice hooker down there. Some more hobos. Hello, ho. You're interesting looking. Got some nice hobos. Alright, we're gonna go see what that blood. Oh. Looks like this is where the beating was, huh? We're gonna go see what's up with this guy. Entering Elysium. The minion of a powerful vampire. Okay, we need to get some lock picking or something before we can go in there. Hey, sexy. The mother's ripped me off. I'm dying here. Are you Mercurio? Uh, yeah. You looking for the astrolite? I'm. Oh, I can feel a draft on my fucking insides. They shank me. The bastards. The blood ain't working no more. My head. It feels cracked. <laughs> 